I feel a diagram coming on. M96 five chain engine. Here we go. In the center, we have the crankshaft, and that is the main part of the engine. The point of its existence is to turn the crankshaft. The power from that, some of the power, goes off to the intermediate shaft. It's called intermediate because it's between something, and it's between the crankshaft and the camshafts. And so the intermediate shaft allows that chain from the crankshaft to get split in two. And one chain goes off onto bank one, and one chain goes to bank two. On bank one here at the top, we have the intake cam, because the intake where all the air comes in is on the top. Underneath, we have the exhaust cam. The exhaust is connected underneath, and they are connected to each other by their own chain and timed to each other with that chain. And then they get their power from the intermediate shaft with another longer chain. Now with long chains like that, they need a guide to stop them from flapping around and take up any slack as they get older. On this car, there is this rail that we've talked about and it may be one of the items that has damage on it. Now that has a tensioner on it that we just undid, uh, which is spring-loaded to try to maintain a constant pressure as the, as the system ages really and becomes slack, it takes up the slack. There's another rail on the other side for the same reason. And then on the chain that's on the cams itself, we have a Vario cam. Now this Vario cam that we've talked about, really it's kind of an on-off thing. If you are idling or poodling about, it's in one position. If you start driving it like you stole it, it can change the timing of the cams and make it work better for that situation. Over here now we have, this is the intermediate shaft, chain, rail and tensioner. Same sort of thing, same sort of reason as all the other chains. We'll come to that later on. And then bank two is the same as bank one. I'm beginning to feel like it's sort of the same thing, but sort of spun upside down and backwards, you know? Anyway, at the top, it still has the intake cam and on the bottom is the exhaust cam. And then it gets a chain for itself coming all over there from the intermediate shaft. And then for all those same reasons, it gets these rails on there and tensioners to keep the chain in tension as everything ages. You notice it's kind of like a mirror image or flipped image of the other side. I think there's something going on with that. Maybe you guys in the comments could spread some light on what I'm thinking here. So on bank two then, there's a chain all to itself and those cams then are timed to each other. And that's why there's only one key on a five chain engine is because if you just get one of those keys in time, it's gonna be already in time with the other cam. And that then is one, two, three, four, five chains, ba-boom. So what about the three chain engine, which is an M9603? Even though it's a lower number, it actually came after in 2002. Very, very similar, but there are differences. And so we have the crankshaft again, which is the engine's reason to exist. Then it goes to an intermediate shaft. Again, probably most of those being single row, so more of the problematic ones in that regard. It has a chain which is the intermediate shaft chain. Over on bank one, we still have an intake and an exhaust. On bank two, we have the intake and exhaust again. So the main difference here is they're using less parts, less chains. And in this case, that change in engineering did result in more reliability with other benefits. You can see here for bank one, it just gets one chain that covers both of those cams. Same on bank two. And that's why you need a key on both cams as it's possible one of those guys could slip independently and uh, you would want to know that. Instead of a Vario cam, this has Vario cam plus, which is an infinitely variable valve timing device. And that allows the engine to choose whatever timing it wants based on what's going on at that present time. And that's one of the reasons why the M9603 has more horsepower than the M9604. So that's just one, two, and three chains. So a simpler system that has more efficiency, less parts. It's better.